Welcome back everybody. Check this out. JLB Cheetah. JLB Racing. Tent scale. It's got eight scale shocks on it. It's got LED lights in the front. 3S. It's a four or five thousand pack. I'm trying to remember now. But um, four wheel drive. Brushless. Off road truggy they call it. Looks kind of like a monster truck. Show you some specs and stuff here. Some info. Here's the brushless motor, metal gears, radio system, 3S 4000 milliamp battery, and it has a charger, waterproof brushless 80 amp speed control. Bunch of info there. Bright LED lights. Somersault wheel that must go side to side in the transmitter, all ball bearings. Yeah, oil filled shocks, progressive. Here's some of the scale specs, wheels, length, width, height, wheelbase. Yeah. Super pumped about this, guys. If you've seen videos on these things, they are fast and they are durable. So, let's check the beast out. Nice. Let's see how it's packaged. It's in there pretty well. Um, We'll start bringing pieces out here because my table's a little limited and this thing is big, very big. And there goes all my stuff. So, I'm not sure what to do here, but do this. Here's the charger bag, some other info. Get this box out of the way. That's my background here. transmitter. Feels pretty good. You got your dual rates for steering, throttle trim, sub trim or uh, steering trim. This must be a throttle dual rate or something too. Not sure how, how this all works. Oh, three channel, third channel, three channel. Four AA batteries. Here's the reverse switches. This looks like an off on button here. I don't know if the third channel does, I'm not sure yet. I don't think that applies to this one, but I could be wrong. side of that box was this. Take note on this plug here. Not a US plug. Um, as I said in my other videos I've got adapters from other stuff but this one I do not. Charger I guess takes quite a while like 45 minutes or no it takes like six hours to charge the battery I believe is what I read last. Um, so if you got your own charger at home, probably a better deal. You don't even have to worry about this then. So, but they send it anyway. Get this plastic off here. I've heard some people go both ways about the tires on these. Some people say they don't like them. Some people haven't said anything. So, personal preference probably. Oh yeah, that feels nice. They're big. Double check the tightness of the uh, lug nuts here. I've seen someone say that they've lost some. Here's the front bumper. You can see the LED lights in there. Nice big skid plate on the bottom. That wheel on the back. Oh, <laughs> for doing wheelies. Because from what I've seen, this is a wheelie machine. And those shocks are massive. Awesome. Get the 
body off. Body looks nice. Great finish. Nicely painted. Here's the inner workings of the beast. See my speed control came off. There is double sided tape down there. It just came off for some reason. I pushed on the fan on accident. I hope that didn't hurt anything. Nice aluminum hardware here. Look at the size of those shocks. They're just they're beefy. Do that to my thumb. Mm, they've got dust covers on them. Very nice touch. They're all metal dog bones and everything. One thing I know people have talked about here on the front is these wires. I would probably add a little slack to them. Maybe cut, they got to come with little zip ties in there. I don't know if you can see that. But maybe cut those off and get some extra slack in there for when things flex and move. Um, I know that's one weak point I've seen people talk about. Another one, and I can kind of see it in this one too, is you see, this is your steering. You see how wheels on the front should be towed in a little bit. I mean, obviously I'm over-exaggerating, but they should not be like this. So, adjust your little turnbuckles here so you get these tires running square because they should not be at that sort of angle and I've seen a lot of other videos talk about you know how it's kind of uncontrollable so I'm guessing this might be part of their problem is they didn't think about or didn't notice maybe how the uh, tracking is off so again just turn these turnbuckles get the steering straight so that they're at least level if not a tiny bit of toe in on the front It'll make it drive way better, and it'll wear your tires a lot less too. So, yeah, there's the big battery. Speed control there's got a fan on it. It's got standard Dean's connectors. I love that, T-connectors. Um, beefy looking servo. All the linkages look really great. Oh, it's got spring-loaded like a servo saver down there. Very good. 2.4 radio. Let's get that battery out of there. I'm trying to make my unboxings a little shorter so I can do more running. I'm less talking. But 30C, 4,000 milliamp. It's in a hard case. Nice battery. Cool carbon fiber look to it. Uh, the battery tray here, you can see it's got foam padding. Nice touch keep things safe. This thing's a beast. I cannot wait to run this. We're right in the middle of a big windstorm. It's supposed to be a pretty epic one from what they say. So I don't know when I'll be able to get her out, but hopefully soon. Um, we've got adjustable body posts here. There's a lot of adjustable positions of the shocks here on the towers. In every video everybody's always just ran her in the stock position anyway there's that so let's move on to what we got here here's some info about the transmitter functions throttle trigger steering trim pretty basic stuff if you've ever drove an RC car before you should have no problems um, here's the cheetah manual. I'll show you what's in here real quick. Contents, tools included. Where? I don't see any tools included, unless I missed them. Uh, didn't get any in mine. No tools. It's supposed to come with three hex keys and a 12 millimeter wrench. Uh, I don't see them anywhere. I'll do a double check, but I'm pretty sure I looked it over or took everything out. Bummer. Parts names. More instructions on the radio, ESC connections, 
electronic setup. Here's some exploded views on how stuff is together. Shock oil. How to loosen and tighten lug nuts. Blown up parts diagrams and pieces and everything. Very good. Alright guys, well, so there is the unboxing of the Cheetah. If you liked it, please let me know. Let me turn this down so you get a cool view of that bad boy. Uh, once the weather breaks, we'll take her outside and see what it's got. So I'm pretty pumped about this. I know it's fast. They're saying like 50 miles an hour. I think that's is that 70 to 80 kilometers or something like that. And yeah, it cooks. So anyways, I appreciate you stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, and you're not going to miss seeing this thing run because it is amazing.